Okay, this is a follow-up to a video I did about two years ago showing how you can save space on your C drive by changing the default location. You can check it out uh, here by following this link. But with the updates to Windows that's happened in between, uh, there's another feature you can do afterward. Now if you look here, this is my hard drive, which I just changed my SSD to a 500 gigabyte hard drive. But if you don't have uh, the resources to go ahead and do that, uh, you can go into settings and get some space back by going up here. And let me get that out of the way. And we're going to just type in storage here. SDO and click on storage. And you notice you have a list of hard drives here. And here's the one we're talking about. And here's the, some of my other drives. Now storage spaces is uh, down there which can automatically do some things for you. But today we're going to look at each individual drive. And you do that by clicking on that. And it'll take a little bit of time depending upon how much you have on your system. Okay, it tells you exactly what these categories of what's stored on and what's taking up space. And you notice here I've got music, and documents, other people, all this stuff, other people because I have a different account on this computer. But after it finishes, or actually before that, you can click on a category like here's apps and games, which has the giant amount of space being used up on my C drive. If I click on it, down here, you'll see the actual apps in alphabetical order. And you'll see that the ones with the periods up here first, and then it goes to the threes for three, and then it goes into A, B, C, D, E. So you can browse this list like that, okay, and take forever to find stuff. But you can click right up here where it says name and say size. And it automatically sorts it with the largest size listed first, in descending order of size. So again, it takes a uh, time uh, for doing if you have a lot of stuff. But pretty soon you'll see that. Look at that. I have the Microsoft emulator. I have some uh, video editing software. Let me go down here a little bit. And a lot of the stuff there that uh, uses up a lot of stuff because I do development and other things. But eventually, if you go down your list, you'll, you'll see stuff besides this uh, heavy duty stuff here. But look, we have a game, Grand Theft Auto, the app version of this. And it's 2.51 gigabytes. So uh, let's go look at the uh, my start menu for a second, and we'll scroll down here. Uh, and sure enough, there's Grand Theft Auto I have installed on the system. And obviously, when I installed it, it installed it on the C drive. So I don't want to uninstall and reinstall it. Now, if I click here, you see there's a move button, and it's available to be clicked on. Sometimes they're grayed out. If you click on other things like this, this is Modify. It'll launch the installer for Pinnacle Studio. Now, that's an important distinction I want to make sure everybody understands. This is really for only for apps, not installed desktop programs, which have their own installers. You might have to reinstall those programs or run an installer program where you can modify the locations, uh, but not directly through this interface here. So it all depends on uh, what you have installed. Uh, let me find something else here. Uh, not my DVD. Photos. If I click on that, you notice I can either move or uninstall it. Another good example is a uh, little system files. We're going to scroll down here. And we're going to see this real tech high definition. I cannot modify it. I can't move it. I can uninstall it. Uh, game show is a, a broadcasting thing. I can move that, modify that. Just find the program you want, in, like the Facebook, and decide if you want to move it to somewhere else because it's a half a gig. So again, you want to do that. So yeah, you go down here and you look at some other things as well, like Messenger. Can't move that. I uh, don't really care about most of this stuff, but you just select it, must say modify, choose the drive you want. I have all my other ones on the E drive on me, so they're not scattered all over different hard drives. You simply click on move. So we're going to go back up here just to mention uh, again the master settings that it says here change where new content is saved, and that's the purpose of the other video as well. You can see, and see here I have my E drive for documents. Now my apps aren't because I have plenty of space. You may want to set this to be permanently somewhere else, but everything I have is set to go to my E drive, which is my original extra storage, my first larger hard drive. But any one of them are available. But again, keep them in one spot. So we go back to the listing here. And there's Grand Theft. I'm going to say move. And there's I'm going to change the E drive and say move. Now if you go look at it, I tried to see the size of the Windows app directory, but it's a protected system directory, so you're not going to be able to look at it, but that's where it's going to go. So we're going to go back over here, uh, filter again by size, find this, and say move. And I'm going to say I'm going to point it to the 
E drive, click on Move. And depending upon how much time, how much big it is and all that, you see it's performing the move. Now I've shortened the time for this, but uh, it has to also check all your pointers, you know, make sure that the registry is updated. But now you see it disappeared from the list. Okay, for the C drive. So we go back and go back again. So let's go take a look at the E drive and this one here. And you see apps and games are down here. They're not even the largest number, but look, it jumped all of a sudden there because it found, and here it comes, and boom, there's Grand Theft Auto now located on the E drive. So let's go look at it and see what effect it's had on our system. You know, so here's our old stats here, 575 gigabyte. Let me refresh it just to make sure that's our current. And 251 gigabytes free was what we used to have. Now we have 254. So just to make sure everything went all right, we're going to go over here to the start menu, click on the same or the same link that was there originally, and sure enough, you click on the tile, game looks fine, it launched fine, everything looks to be working correctly. So let's close that down and recap here. Uh, what you want to be is you want to be in your storage settings and click on the drive to see which ones are installed and then sort by size and find whatever items you think are too big and then click on them and see if you have the ability to move them to where you have more storage and free up that space on your C drive. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.